trap in pauper's drop. All railcar travel is suspended until he is found. Remember, the enemy is alone. We are the family. Lab's trying to box us in, kid. This is a goddamn citywide lockdown. To keep the train moving, you need the security override key from the local governor, Grace Holloway. She kicked me out of my own hotel down here, the Sinclair Deluxe. Find her and get that key. You stole, stole Eleanor from, from me. me. Twisted, Twisted that baby, baby girl into a thing so, so sick it can't even, even die. And now, now you come, come swanning, swanning into my neighborhood, neighborhood looking, looking for me. me. Wrong, Wrong turn, turn Tin Daddy. Daddy. When we hang you from a street light and you choking out your last, last. I, want I want you to you remember, remember my face. face. Yourself, 
What is your great chain of progress but a faith? The chain is a symbol for an irrational force guiding us towards ascension. No less mystic than the crucifixes you seize and burn. My folks lived in the St. Louis Hooverville in 32, and the drop is worse by a mile. Nobody's supposed to live down here. City pissing on us. Never try. Ryan doesn't care, and Fontaine's a damn crook. But Dr. Lamb cares. We're still people to her. She's offering free mental counseling on Sundays. When I go, I get the feeling she's got a plan for rapture. And for me.
Baxi's on the middle part. <laughs> Children, family. He would turn her from us just as he did to Eleanor. Show this thing what befalls the boogeyman when he steps into our god. in this clinic to spice up a rhinoceros. Of course every poor soul in a drop's gonna start beating down your door. It's my job to think of a new key code to keep them out. Seems like every other day now. Nuts. I'll mull it over for a while at the fishbowl diner.
is grown now, baby snatcher. Even after what you did to her, Dr. Lamb found a way to shape that girl into something perfect, something holy. She's a daughter to us all. Nobody in Rapture will shelter you now. Grace has got the wrong idea. You're not responsible for turning Eleanor into a little sister. Big daddies are just slaves, and you only recently broke free. here to sing and to start a family but I just don't fit with these people look at you you fit with them grace in Ryan's culture I am the pariah you and I share unpopular ideas but I wonder how devoted are you to the rapture people if you wish to know more wear this butterfly brooch at our next session if not no harm done. We shall never speak of it again.
used to. That thing's a miracle in Technicolor, kid. Works like a movie camera. Start the film rolling before you open fire on a splicer, and then anything you hit him with tells you more about his DNA. Let's give it a dry run, shall we? Easy now. Looks like you got the jump on this fella. Start your camera recording him, then hit him with a little bit of... Everything. Plasmids, firearms, whatever you can dish out. Mommy has to go away for a while. You shall be staying with Aunt Gracie. Mommy, don't go. Eleanor, you are better than that. Do you remember what I told you? I am very special. That's right. And what else? I was born to change the world. Yes. And when Mommy returns home, the world will be very different indeed. She will make it ready for you. Papa's drops the worst neighborhood in Rapture, but it's a hell of an opportunity to raise up some uh, affordable housing. When Atlantic Express was constructing their luxury passenger line, this place was hollowed out beneath as flop houses for the railway crew. Nobody was supposed to reside down here long term, but when you're broke in this town, you're not exactly swimming in alternatives. I don't favor spending more than an hour or so down here at a time. There ain't a side of the tracks more wrong than under them. Racing says piss off and die. Well, sport, I guess Gracie's home. But that big lug just dropped half my damn hotel in your way. Now, to break through that mess, I expect you're gonna have to work out 
how he got so burly. Since you already laid your hands on a genetic research camera, this next part will be easier. That's it, son. Camera spits out a prize once in a while as you learn what makes a splicer tick. Now, find one of those big old brutes and take them out on film. Before long, you'll be able to brush aside that mess at the hotel. Using that camera is a bit like telling a joke. Each time you tell it the same way, it gets a little more stale, so you gotta change it up to keep it fresh. one of those big goons now. Start your camera rolling on him, and then let him have it. Remember, son, without using that research camera, we can't get to Gracie. And that means we're stuck here. Get one of those big apes on film, then work him over. Shit, 
Look at you, sport. A regular junior shutterbug. And it appears... Here, father. It's yours. You are evolving fast, but your heart is getting weaker. I can keep you alive, but you must find me. Even Daddy's toys have toys. That's it. We have to close down the limbo. The bomb goes off in that fancy place uptown and everybody panics. Pulls their money out of the banks. A whole city tugging on the same dollar bill. So the banks fold. And maybe one in ten got their savings out. Who's gonna come here mean nightingaling about how broke they are? How am I gonna provide for little Eleanor? Sunday morning. I'll be there. I'm not speaking to you. And your daughter Ridiculous!
for grace. The paradise of Andrew Ryan was most unkind. She spoke against him in song, and he had her blacklisted. It left her penniless. But in the family, she has found hope, a reason to draw breath. Ask yourself, Delta, do you deserve to take it from her? Eventually, they give themselves over. Like dying is an honor. I'd almost feel sorry for them if they didn't have my daughter. I'm going to find Lamb and take Cindy back one way or another. Here it is. I just remember. Oh, Oh, <laughs> 
Daddy is not a man. It is half dog and half devil, made by Andrew Ryan to condemn our children to a walking death. Just rev up that drill of yours and slam right through that pile of junk blocking your way. Now Gracie was on the top floor. Get on up there and persuade her to give you that override key.
The baby snatchers headed up into the hotel family. He wants me so he can get to Eleanor. Tin Daddy feels no guilt. Tin Daddy feels no pain. But we are the family and we can teach him how. Some slob shacked up here buys a box of syringe parts from me for twice what it's worth. He assembles them in his rat hole, and I buy back the finished product for a dime against the dollar that I'll get from Ryan. Profit coming, profit going. Old Andy rambles on about the great Andrew Ryan told me that in Rapture, it didn't matter where you came from. Bum! Times got hard, and all our old bigotries bubbled right back up. But Dr. Lamb showed us that down under the skin, down under the money, down under our very name, we are family.
these paper effigies as secret badges for the faithful. The Morpho Caterpillar doesn't spin a cocoon. It just grows armor on the inside before the change. It is us. To wear a butterfly is to support Dr. Lamb. Grace's room is just up ahead. Now, she's been sending all manner of unkindness your way, so I'm not particular as to how you take that key away from her, but she's old, and this grudge against you was based on a misunderstanding. for a load of vials and needles, then it's evenings putting these syringes together while I listen to the radio. Sell them back to Sinclair twice the price. What a racket. A few pinpricks here and there is nothing to complain about. Gonna be back on top soon. Thank you, Mr. Sinclair. Sucker. We both, we both died, died tonight, tonight monster. monster. Ah, because your kind has killing in its nature. And you, because there's no way the family will let you stroll out alive with that key. I got in a fight with a dog eater today. His name is Amir, and he was picking on a smaller boy. We called a truce when his nose went red. But Mum says I'm becoming a barbarian. So I said, Eleanor, eat dog now too. Barbarian, happy. And Mom said, they only think they're happy because they're selfish and ignorant. Hmm, Eleanor, think ignorant sound like fun. Baby, where are you? I turned my back and someone took you. It happened so quick. I'm not even a half mama to you, girl. I couldn't protect you. This poster of Dr. Lamb in my room is staring me down like it knows I'm ashamed. I've always been loyal to your real mother, Eleanor. Always trusted her with my secrets. But I lost you. What will the doctor think of me now? I know what you're here for. Go on, take it. I won't have you touching me. Dr. Lamb trusted me to care for her child. And I tried. But baby Eleanor disappeared. And then one day, I see her walking with you, looking wrong. And when I tried to hold her, you knocked me down. Broke my jaw. So I'm ready, baby snatcher. Come on in and finish the job. Your call, friend. Grace is unarmed for what it's worth. You're a bigger man than I am, Chief. Maybe next time she'll think twice about pointing fingers before all the facts are in. Now, let's be on our way. Eleanor's waiting. You had me under a gun, yet you just walk away? No monster alive turns the other cheek. 
No monster does that. A thinking man does that. I know that Dr. Lamb is no liar, but she's got to be wrong about you. Doesn't seem right now, letting you walk into that bushwhack waiting outside. I can't call off the family, but I can whisper a bit and improve your odds. These whirlybirds are custom jobs by an old friend. I'm afraid this is all I can do for now. you now. You've done more than just spare my life. 
You've opened my eyes. I need to put a few questions to Dr. Lamb. By sparing grace, do you seek to gain my trust? A feeble ruse. Your crocodile tears may poison her with doubt, but I am not so easy a mark. Head back to the train station, sport. Just take that override key and slot it into the control box in the ticket booth there. That'll open the gates. <laughs> 